Hello, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. To achieve a high score for IELTS Writing Task 2, you first need to understand the task. And that's what this video is all about. To get high marks, two things are essential. You need to understand what the examiner is looking for and learn the right techniques to write an effective essay. In this video, we'll be looking specifically at the general format of Task 2 questions and all the basic information that it's vital for you to know. The format of Task 2 questions is always the same. You'll be given a statement on a topic of general interest. The statement will be a specific point of view, a problem or an argument related to the topic and you'll be asked to respond to that statement. Here's an example of a typical Task 2 question. Nowadays, more people are choosing to socialise online rather than face to face. Is this a positive or negative development? There are five different types of Task 2 essays that you could be asked to write. Opinion essays, also known as agree or disagree. Discussion essays. Problem essays which include causes and solutions, advantages and disadvantages essays, and double question essays. I'll show you how to decide what type of question you've been given after I've covered two other important things. We'll begin with some key information that you need to know in order to achieve success. One, you're required to write 250 words or more. If you write less than 250 words, you're unlikely to get more than the band 5 for task achievement, as you won't have fulfilled the marking criteria. 2. You should use a formal style of writing. 3. You have around 40 minutes to plan and write your essay. 4. Task 2 contributes twice as many marks to your overall score as Task 1. And 5. It's recommended to do task 2 first. Most people do task 1 first and overrun on the 20 minutes it should take them. This doesn't leave them long enough to do task 2 properly. Since task 2 is worth double the marks, they are in effect throwing away valuable scores. That's why it's best to do task 2 before task 1. It's common to feel overwhelmed when you read a task 2 question and not know how to even begin to approach it. So it's essential to have an effective strategy to tackle any question you might get. Fortunately, because the question format is the same for all questions, you can use the same basic technique to write any task to essay. Here's my recommended five-step approach. First, analyze the question. Then plan your answer. Next, write the introduction. Then, write two main body paragraphs. And finally, write the conclusion. This will give you a well-organised essay of four paragraphs. It's also essential that you're able to identify the different types of questions. This is important because in order to write a good essay, you need to understand exactly what the question asks you to do. Once you fully understand the question, you'll know how to structure your essay, you'll know what language to use, both the planning and the writing stages will be quicker and easier, and you'll give the examiner exactly what they want. Each of the five different types of Task 2 questions requires a different structure to create a high-scoring essay. You'll also need to use slightly different language. Here are the five different types of essays again. And now for some examples to illustrate the difference between them. The language used in the questions will help you to recognise what type of question it is. We'll start with opinion essays. This type of question clearly asks your opinion on the topic, although the language could vary as seen in these two examples. Example 1. Some people think that more money should be spent on protecting endangered species, while others think that it's a waste of valuable money. What is your opinion? Example 2. Advances in technology and automation have reduced the need for manual labour. 
Therefore, working hours should be reduced. To what extent do you agree or disagree? In opinion essays, you must state whether you agree or disagree with the statement and why. It's easy to recognise discussion essay questions because the statement will include two opposing views and the question after it will ask you to discuss them and usually to give your own opinion as well. For example, some people believe that school children should not be given homework by their teachers, whereas others argue that homework plays an important role in the education of children. Discuss both views and give your own opinion. And here's some slightly different wording. Some people think that exercise is the key to health, while others feel that having a balanced diet is more important. Discuss both sides and give your opinion. Problem essays start with a statement stating the problem, then ask you to discuss the causes and solutions, or sometimes the causes or the solutions. Here are a couple of examples. Example 1. Due to poorer countries experiencing a brain drain, they are seeing many professionals such as doctors and teachers leaving to work in more developed countries. What problems does this cause? What solutions can be suggested to deal with this situation? Example 2. Many offenders commit more crimes after serving the first punishment. Why is this happening and what measures can be taken to tackle this problem? Different language may be used in individual questions, as can be seen in these two examples. In example 2, why is clearly referring to the cause of the problem and what refers to the solution. Next, we come to advantages and disadvantages essays. This type of question can be worded in several different ways. It's common for synonyms of advantages and disadvantages to be used, such as benefits or drawbacks. This can be seen in the second of these two examples. Example 1. It is becoming increasingly popular to have a year off between finishing school and going to university. What are the advantages and disadvantages of this? Example 2. A lot of places in the world rely on tourism as a main source of income. Unfortunately, tourism can also be a source of problems if it is not managed correctly. Describe the advantages and disadvantages of tourism in the modern world. Do you think that the benefits of tourism outweigh its drawbacks? Finally, we have the double question essay, sometimes called a direct question essay. This type of question has one statement with two different questions after it. They may or may not be linked. Here are our examples. Example 1. Today more people are travelling to foreign countries than ever before. Why is this the case? What are the benefits of travelling for the traveller? Example 2. Most people agree that money cannot buy happiness. Why is happiness difficult to define? How can people achieve happiness? It's vital that you answer both questions fully. So, that's a general overview of IELTS Writing Task 2. You're now ready to learn the techniques needed to plan and write a great essay. You'll find all the information you need in the writing section of my website, ieltsjackie.com, and in the other writing videos on my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.